feel that it is not set at the right amps. It doesn't have the power that it should. Hey, what is up, guys? So I'm gonna have a look at this um, net gain warp nine motor. Um, we may have seized the bearings or something, so I'm just gonna take it apart as far as I can. Um, check it out, learn about what's going on in there. Check, this thing is not spinning, so something's wrong. That's step one, is to check that your brushes are not melted onto the thing. So I don't know if you saw that, the, um, the, the top bearing, so I guess that's the back of the motor, that's turning, so that, that's fine. I'm guessing that the bearing also turns, so maybe the inside has expanded against the outer windings, inner windings against outer windings. This is pretty interesting. You've got your brushes on these springs. The wear rate is interesting, so it looks like hmm, the inner ones or sorry, the outer ones are wearing are wearing more. So I assume positive and negative on those those cords there probably go to the case. You can see the outer windings, those are inner windings, that sucks. Hey guys, so um, it looks like that's an 8mm Allen key, it's pretty fat, um, I'm gonna run to the local hardware. Okay, so I'm at the um, auto parts store, this local AutoZone does not have either of the two tools that I need. Okay, so builders didn't even have that, so I'm I want to get working, this is just a waste of time now, gosh! I managed to get the 8mm um, Allen socket. I prefer these because I feel as if they're a little bit stronger and you can get a little bit more torque on them with an, a decent um, lever. Sweet. Oh, and with any luck the thing fits. Yes please. Cool. So now we can get that adapter plate off. Hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel after this disaster. Well, that came off pretty easy. Probably something I'll copy for the gearbox I have here. Little bit of rust on there. Okay, this is a little bit of, we had a little problem the last time I took our electric bus out for a test drive. The wheels locked up, we were under the impression maybe we had a gearbox issue and something went catastrophically wrong. We dropped the motor, found that the gearbox was, gearbox was perfectly fine. We've now split the net gain warp 9 motor and this is what we found. That looks like something got hot and then just jammed itself up against the field windings. Hopefully those are okay. Now it looks like the windings are pretty fat. So that size winding came out and got pulled out. This looks like a disaster. 
thought I'd just give you a quick summary about this video. So the point was to go and drive the electric bus and, and button down some of the electrics in preparation for a new battery pack, battery management system, and just get things reliable, working. We arrived there, the wiring wasn't done, the batteries were, we think, half charged. Bus didn't drive, so who knows what the guys fiddled with but they fiddled with it it ended up going we got to a halfway point the amps were cranked up to 100 percent capability and i didn't get the data on that so i'm going to try and get a screenshot of what settings the the controller was set to we believe that we had 144 ish volts we had 300 amps when we had our foot flat it's a bit disappointing I think we cooked the motor, we're going to try and have it rewound, I'm not terribly optimistic, <laughs> we might end up having to put the forklift motor into the vehicle, because essentially we want to be able to now test the Nissan Leaf battery packs, we want to build a battery module, we want to attach the uh, battery management system, so wish us luck. Um, if there's any any comments you can make on the Netgain Warp 9 motor, that would be really cool. If you can help us with the, um, the Netgain or even the Minnison Leaf batteries or battery management, it would be great if you could like and subscribe. It'll give me a little bit more motivation to carry on things. But I'm having a good time learning about all of this. And thanks very much for watching. See you later. Cheers.